My only ties are historical and cultural to some extent. With my grandfather starting the university, my great-grandfather being an artist and head of a museum, or actually head of an artist's group. And as such, my interests still exist because I'm quite active with the Russian Cultural Center here, which is part of the Russian embassy operations. Well, my first contact with them was the first Russian ambassador, uh, Lukin, who came by the time that uh, Yeltsin took over. Lukin was interested in starting a Russian cultural center. But then he left shortly thereafter, and uh, Varonsov took over. Varonsov had under him a young lady by the name of Natalie Batova as the commercial attaché. Her father was General Batov. General Batov was right under Zhukov, and he commanded the troops going into Germany on the northern front. I mentioned Batova, Natalie Batova. We, through her, we started the uh, Russian Cultural Center. Now, there's another gentleman that also helped out, a fellow named Lloyd Costley, a lawyer. And between the three of us, we more or less started the Russian Cultural Center. And I got quite involved with them on that basis, because Natalie Batova eventually became the director of the Cultural Center. And any time that they had some kind of problems or anything like that, that they think I could help, I had a phone call, and I'd go down there and give them a hand or give them some ideas what to do. And Lloyd Costley came along too, and he organized a group called the Friends of the Cultural, Russian Cultural Center, which, with all the hoopla in Congress today, we still got to be a 501c3 group. So, and he's being a lawyer, is very careful how that money is spent. The way it's spent is not dollars to the Russians but, for example, in a piano. Not only Russian, any, anybody. There's a, as an example of learning Russian language, there's a classmate of my daughter's from high school, uh, an American boy, and somehow he got interested in Russia, and he, he has learned Russian language and books and so on in that building. Interestingly enough, when we, well, I told you about this concert we had last week where they showed the, we have these kids playing Rachmaninoff and so on. Most of the audience, I say, are English or Americans. So it's a, it's a great uh, mix of introduction of Russian art and culture. There's one guy, one chap, who gives a lecture on Russian art. He was a professor at the University of Maryland on art, but he studied Russian art. He gives lectures like you wouldn't believe on the things that are hanging in the various museums, both at Moscow and St. Petersburg. There's a Russian museum in, Mo in St. Petersburg where my grandfather's stuff is. We also have a husband and wife musicians. She plays the harp. He accompanies, accompanies her on the piano. Both teach at Peabody. So that's how I keep up with the Russian community and so on.